We're going to have a look at an exercise for hip mobility. Um, you can think of this as kind of like a combination of a dead bug and sort of a, just a range of motion, a rotational range of motion exercise for the hips. So um, we want to lie down, get into kind of a, a dead bug setup where we're going to try to square the uh, low back to the ground and, and just be heavy at the belt line, heavy at the midline, or sorry, middle back into the ground here, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. Um, you can place your fingertips rather, so I'm reaching the shoulder blades up and away from the ground as you reach your arms up and then just kind of maintain that position. That helps keep your back heavy into the ground. Put your fingertips on the knees and that gives you a sense of um, just kind of keeping things straight ahead, um, which is a little bit arbitrary. To be honest, you can work with different positions and that's totally fine, especially if, if one is a little bit more comfortable than the other. Um, that's absolutely fair game if your hip is quite sore. You want to um, position it into a range where it feels comfortable to be able to rotate. And we're just trying to kind of loosen things up and warm things up a little bit in the hips here while still benefiting ourselves with a, a, a good core strengthening exercise. Um, the last thing with this one is that while you're moving your legs, you can also try to experiment a little bit with controlling your position um, into a slightly more posterior pelvic tilt or, or releasing that position just very slightly and just kind of see like where does it seem to uh, like to be situated the most. Sometimes uh, you're going to be able to find a position where the hip seems to have a little bit greater access to range of motion and um, patterning movement in that position may actually be quite helpful. Okay, so that is our uh, supine dead bug hip rotations for uh, hip, rotation, or hip range motion. Hope it helps.